What's up guys, in this Blender tutorial I will be showing you how to use the Ant Landscape Generator. It's an add-on. So first you're going to go to User Preferences and Add-ons. Okay. And then you're going to want to scroll down the, to here and then make sure it's enabled. For me it's enabled. If it's not then you're just gonna click on the check then save user settings I'm not gonna save it because I already saved it before anyway basically oh hang on a second oh god add you're going to want to go to Mesh, Landscape, and then there you go. Now the cube, you're going to want to delete. And now you got a simple kind of landscape right here. And kind of generated it for you. Now I'm just going to go into Edit Mode. Um, see it. Oh, well, first of all, let's scale this up. But let's say you want hills here, not here. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to go to edit mode. You're going to, first of all, let's do subsurf. Eh, one or two is good. Ah, eh, two looks better. Make sure smooth is on. I always do this. Okay. So back to the add-ons. I'm going to go. Now you are going to want to go do this. So. First of all, I'm trying to look for the. This place. And now you should get a really distorted mess. Which you really don't want. I'm um, going to have to turn the strength down. And you can make it, you can kind of tweak it as you want. I think that looks too hilly. So, I would leave it negative because on zero it looks too bulged out in a way. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And now we're going to do go into sculpt mode. Now, oh here we go. Let's radius strength. Now you can kind of tweak it. It's not working. Forget what to do. Aha, it is working. It is. If you look carefully. I'm going to turn the subsurf down because the performance is really quite horrible. Alright, now it's working. Strength gotta go up. Not gonna do. No more. And you're gonna want to probably uh, sculpt mode I don't think is the best. Ah, uh, oh well. Anyway, you're going to want to deselect all, press B, um, can extrude, A, B, E, and this is kind of how you can create a landscape. Oh, God. Now this one, I, uh, now you're going to want to. Okay, I'm going to go on face select mode. Much easier. And then you can just kind of select them all or just, you know what, C. That's a lot better for me. Sorry if this is taking a while. Just got to highlight each single face. Because this is generally way too high. 
Uh, I selected some extras, so. Hang on. What am I gonna go out of C? No. Oh, God. Oh, C. Okay, now I selected all of them. Now I'm just gonna deselect those. Deselect those. And those. And that's it. Now I'm just gonna slightly do less extruding. Grab it to the left. And now, if you see, I'm gonna select some of these. Lift those up. And you can kind of see that as you do this, grab A, B, grab, you kind of can create mountains. And if we go to object mode, you see, you might be saying, oh, that doesn't look really good. It looks too blocky. Well, fortunately, we always can click one, one face at a time and do it that way. It'll take longer, but if you really want to create nice mountains, you should do it this way. And I'm not going to do all of it because it's going to take too long, but now you can create some variation right over there. This one I'm not doing yet. That's I'll fix up later, but this one looks pretty awesome. Now we're just going to go back to edit mode, and I'm going to show you some kind of cool trick. Let's say you're thinking, oh, there's not enough faces. Well, that's not true, because if you click all of it, wait a minute, you can go to W, subdivide, and now you got twice the amount of, of what do you call them? Blocks, whatever. Poly no, quadrilaterals. Now you can cut it twice. And now keep in mind, I wouldn't cut it more than this because my computer is starting to slow down. So I'm just going to leave it at one. And now I'm going to click that little thing. Use modifier while in edit mode. Oh, wait a minute. What does that do again? No, 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 no. I, I meant this. Which I'll actually... Hold on. Oh. When you click that, right where my mouse is, if you don't click it, the mesh will not actually be on the object if you're in subsurf so you should click that and now there won't now tell me you see the difference now it's on the object and now it's off on off on all right i think you see the difference so basically um it's really laggy for me i gotta say but it still works um, maybe I'll turn down this subdivide, or no, yeah, I'll turn that one down, and now the lag all went away, and maybe you just want it for game, and now, this ant landscape, whatever, is really useful for games, animations, and Sarah. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be posting more. Rate, comment, subscribe, and like the video. Have a nice day.